mates were having a good time, you know, having a laugh, so like boys together in the house kind of thing. Um, and out of nowhere, it's like, it must have been at 12 at night or something, like late, it was late, late, late. It was just the most god awful screaming you've ever heard in your entire life. So it was a woman somewhere was getting like fucked up, man, like you could probably stop. Sorry, I don't My first reaction. I don't even know what I thought when I heard the sound. All I know is that when I came to consciously, I was uh, I was on the road. I was out of the house. I was on the road, and I'm running towards the screaming in the pitch black. And I ended up stopping, realizing what I was doing, where I was. I looked behind me, and none of my mates were there. I was in a house full of guys, full of lads, and not a single one was behind me. And I, for a second, I froze and I thought, what, what are you doing, man? You know what I mean? What are you doing? You can't run. I was like 15 or something. You, know? so you can't run. I'm in this skinny kid as well. You know? I was like, what are you doing? It's dark. You can't see shit. And then this woman starts screaming again. And I, I couldn't help myself. I had to try and help her. So I run off towards the, the screaming. And I eventually find this, this woman on the ground. Um, this massive dude over her, like, you know, screaming at her, like, waving his arms up and stuff. And, like, I must have got about as close as you are over there and um, I froze, I froze, the greatest shame of my life, I froze and because once I got there that was it like this dude was massive man and it was pitch black, it was all by myself, I've never forgiven myself for that, I froze and then all I could do was shout at him you know, I was just like stop 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 what you're doing, please stop what you're doing kind of thing. I had all these ideas running through my head, like things I'd do, like I'd run and I'd fly, kick this dude, and you know, he'd go flying into the bush and like, I'd rescue her and stuff like that. It's not how I played out, me. I froze. I was terrified. What could I do? He was only a kid. He was a massive dude, was, you know. But I never forgave myself for that. I still haven't to a degree. And on top of all of the the obsession that I had over looking after myself and my family, especially because people were literally coming through the windows back in those days. Um, Possibly the thing that, that got me the most was that situation that night. The disgust in myself that I wasn't able to, to potentially save the woman. If those cops hadn't arrived, what would happen? You know, and that, that sparked a flame in me that, that has never died. Still to this day, that is it's still very much alive. Even when I feel like I'm so over fighting, like I'm so tired of the sit ups and running and all this shit, somebody's always kicking me in the head and you see how pretty my face is, all these scars, you know, sometimes she's like, I don't want to be. And then I remember that night and never again. Anybody ever needs my help, I will be ready and I'll be strong enough. And now I know what I'm doing. I've, I've been fighting for a while and I'm pretty good at it. It'll never happen again, mate. It'll never happen again. It's always difficult to achieve that which is worth achieving and becoming a fighter is both worthwhile and takes in a great amount of concentrated training. It takes the mental, emotional, and physical body into consideration. It all comes from hard work, long hours of bruising, combative training, and a determination to achieve success and push. And when I say push, I don't mean your regularly programmed workouts. I mean exertion, training all of yourself to boundaries you didn't know was possible of reaching. Being able to train and utilize your body to defend yourself is a blessing. Having the ability to use that training in helping others in times of need is a blessing. Being able to knock someone down in the ring but remain humble is a blessing. Now mix in training of your blessings. See, training helps one discipline themselves. It allows you to control yourself, be patient, be humble, and be grateful. It's more than just a skill, but it's a lifestyle which enables one to respect themselves and respect others. That's why every training session has to be different. It's painful, it's heartbreaking, and there will be many times where you want to quit and just give up because you feel you can't breathe. You feel sick to the point where you feel like passing out, but it's that voice within that shakes you up and forces you to carry on till you hear the buzzer and even after that, it's not over. Cause you want to be the best and you want to be confident in being able to protect yourself and others you care for so you carry on working. And even when everyone else is going home and you're left alone, you stay behind to perfect your skills. You stay behind to train, to own your craft.
You train to own your destiny.